know that feeling that you have when you want to do something or you want to say something, but you're kind of afraid. You're not sure how people will take it. You're not even sure if you should be speaking or if you should say anything at all. You're kind of afraid. Or do you know that feeling when you're just about to say something and you just start sweating massively and you don't say a word? Yeah, I've been there. I've had to learn some real tricks on how to be confident in any situation and I'm gonna share all of those secrets with you today. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm gonna share with you three easy ways to boost your confidence in any situation. I'm gonna share with you my biggest secret on how to boost your confidence in less than 30 seconds. I'm gonna share with you my best trick on increasing your confidence in less than 30 seconds. And I'm gonna share with you the number one thing that confident people do that non-confident people do not. So what does it mean to be confident? So many of us hear this word and we see people all confident and arrogant, but confidence is not arrogance. Confidence is knowing in yourself. It's really something that you give yourself. It's like self-esteem or self-confidence. You'll hear those terms often. And there is nothing anyone can do to give you confidence or take it away. That's the first thing. Confidence has to do with how you feel about you. To feel that you are confident, you are worthy, and you are able and capable of doing whatever it is that you need to do in that moment or situation. So confidence is not something that someone can give to you or take away from you because again, it comes from within. So if you want to be confident in any situation, let's talk about the inner work that we need to do inside of ourselves so that it beams outward. So the number one way to be confident in any situation is to fake it till you make it. I know, I know you've heard it before and we've seen all these fake people out here doing it, but the truth is the truth. In order for you to actually become confident, you're probably going to have to fake it in the beginning. Because like I said, it's nothing that anyone can do or give to you for you to be confident. So it has to come from within. And at first, it doesn't exist inside of you. So you have to grow it and it becomes a habit and a practice. So you may have heard the term, fake it till you make it. And when it comes to confidence, this is absolutely the correct answer. You can fake being confident. You can fake that you know things that you may not know or feel a way that you don't feel. And guess what? As you fake it and you practice confidence, you will then become confident. I know, I know, so many people told me this and I know I seem so confident on camera and you're listening to me or watching this and saying, wow, she seems like such a confident person. But guess what? I was not always confident. I am actually more of an introvert than I am an extrovert. People laugh about that all the time because I come off so extroverted and happy on camera, but if you saw me around a group of people, I'm actually kind of shy and like being to myself. Well, how did I learn to be so confident? How did I learn to be such a star and be around people? Well. I practiced it, I faked it till I made it. I would come into a room and I would just smile. I would be uncomfortable and just stay there until I got comfortable. But the lesson was I had to just do it. If you never fake it, if you never practice it, you'll never get the confidence. So you have to start faking it. You have to just start doing it in order for it to become real. Again, it is a feeling, so it's not anything tangible that you are growing. It truly is just a feeling of confidence. So knowing that it is just a feeling, you can definitely fake a feeling until it is real. Know that. Let me get you to the next point because this is powerful. Whoa, are you loving this content? Go below and give me a super thanks. You can give me super thanks in any amount that you want to and just let me know how you're enjoying this content. Help me keep creating this content and let me know that you are enjoying this content by giving me super thanks. That lets me know what type of content that you're enjoying and what content I should keep making. All right, super thanks below. The second thing that you can do to increase your confidence besides fake it till you make it is put your hands over your head. I know this sounds crazy. Just this one act right here of raising your arms up over your head, standing up and practicing that stance will make you more confident in any situation. I know, trust me, I paid millions of dollars to learn this stuff from some major gurus, but it works. Literally before I would go onto stage or before I was speaking, I would get so nervous that I felt sick to my stomach, literally sick like I had to throw up. And my mentor taught me about how to do these breathing exercises and how to do these exercises where I would put my hands over my head and I would say my affirmations and I would come into it so confident. Literally putting your arms over your head, standing up, 
yourself and doing some breathing exercises changes your physical state, which changes your mental state. It's an easy way to be confident in any situation and all you have to do is put your hands over your head and start practicing that move. Number three, breathing exercises. As I mentioned previously, fake it till you make it, then standing up with your hands over your head and then do breathing exercises. And you can just take three deep breaths. Again, you'll get quiet, you'll get present, remember that nothing else is going on and get present in the moment and you take deep breaths in for at least five seconds and then you release out for seven seconds and you'll do that three times in a row. Literally, I paid a lady $5,000 a month to come to my house and teach me yoga and breathing exercises and this is what she taught me. So you're welcome, you're getting this absolutely free. But breathing exercises really does change your physical state, it calms your mind and once you start controlling your breathing, you're now controlling your mind. It really does help both your physical and your mental state and gets you back into control. Number four, positive affirmations. If you wanna start being confident in any situation, you need to start affirming to yourself who you are. And one of the things that you will affirm to yourself when you're saying your affirmations is, I am confident. So what are affirmations? Really, affirmations are just your self-talk, the things that you say to yourself and the things that you affirm to yourself. For example, I get up every morning and I say, I am confident, I am happy, I am well, I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am wise, I am walking genius, I am beautiful, I am loving, I am loved. I could go on and on. I literally do this in the mirror for about 20 minutes per day. And these are my positive affirmations. These are my self-talk. And actually what I'm doing is I'm reprogramming myself to tell the world who I am. You get to tell the world who you are, not the other way around. And so when you wake up in the morning every single day, say your positive affirmations to yourself and this will help you be confident in any situation because whenever you're feeling non-confident or you're feeling scared, you'll just go back to your affirmations and you'll start telling yourself, I am confident, I am smart, I am brilliant, I am fun. Whatever it is that you wanna tell yourself about yourself, that's what you will do. Number five, scripting, journaling, literally writing out what you want to happen in your life will happen. I know, it's crazy, but it's true. Literally, I have written down things that I've wanted in my life, relationships, and again, this is not just about material things like houses or cars, but literally relationships that I've wanted, friends that I've wanted, a nanny for my kids, for example. I literally wrote out what I wanted, what I wanted the person to be like, what did I want it to be like, how happy I was gonna be be when it happened and I scripted and journaled out my life and that made me more confident that things would happen because what I realized is the things that I would write out would happen and that builds your confidence literally if you write that you're going to be a millionaire and you write that on a piece of paper and then you become a millionaire baby you cannot be stopped it builds your confidence in ways you cannot even imagine so even just take it to a smaller level like you write down that you're gonna finish something or you're gonna finish a degree or or finish a certificate or you're gonna put your business out there or you're gonna post something whatever it is that you're going to do you write it down until it happens and then you wrote it down and it happens so now you're more confident that you can make things happen it's just that simple and here is a bonus subliminal messages I know now I'm going into crazy land where right, right now with some of you guys and you're gonna be like oh my gosh this goes against Christianity or my religion or whatever but I'm gonna tell you something because this worked for me this is a bonus and again this is only if you really want to do this and you really want to see change in your life subliminal messages literally when I am sleeping every single night I listen to subliminal rain sounds with subliminal positive messages under them I swear to you this is no lie after like three months of listening to those messages I swear I felt different I acted different and I would say different things because those messages are subliminal meaning they're getting below my consciousness they're going subliminal below the consciousness they will just start reprogramming you without you even noticing and this is what happened to me every single night I listen to subliminal rain sounds I just listen to the rain that's all I hear is rain sound but there are subliminal messages under there telling me that I'm a billionaire that I'm a millionaire that I'm positive I'm healthy I'm wise the whole night just positive messages under that rain sound and then when I wake up in the morning 
I promise you, I feel different. So subliminal rain sounds is another way to boost your confidence. And that's my secret millionaire tip for you. So I have created this book, Real Estate Millionaire Secrets, absolutely free for you. Just go to noellesfreebook.com. In this book, I pour my heart out and I teach you all about how I went from my parents' basement to the real estate multimillionaire that you see today. There are templates, scripts, charts, and everything that you need to start from scratch in real estate and become a multimillionaire. And you can get this book absolutely free. You just cover the shipping. Again, go to noellesfreebook.com. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle. To your success.